No way! We caught one during the solar eclipse! <laughs> Are y'all seeing this? Whoa! Big fish! Whoa! Whoa, that's actually legit! What the hell? Well, millions of Americans are getting ready to view a rare total solar eclipse. So we just want to do our part to make sure that everybody's safe. So wear your solar eclipse glasses and make sure that everybody enjoys this in a safe manner. Oh my God, what's in stop? <laughs> Guys, first few casts in. Already linked up. These fish, I don't know if it's the solar eclipse or what, but they are on fire. They're hitting. They're freaking hitting. No way. I cast it on the edge of it. Oh my gosh, wait, where's my glasses? I can see the sun. Whoa, the sun's out. Oh my Get the glasses, go check it out. And then I took them off and stared straight at the sun. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Second fish so fast out on the lake that sometimes they're tough at. This is crazy. Guys, they're fired up half an hour before the solar eclipse. They're hidden and we're like stuck in the grass. It's crazy out here. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we're on the boat. You haven't seen a video from us in a long time, it's overdue. It took the solar eclipse to get us back out. And we brought the 360 cam, because it's a special day. It looks like almost half the sun is already covered. It's starting to get a little dark out here. I had to bring out the special toy today. Yeah, it's gonna get dark fast. So what I'm gonna do is set up our lights on the front and the back of the boat. Where did that other go? Oh, there it is. I'm so curious to see if they hit some top water while this happens. In fact, I might tie on a buzz bait. All right, y'all, so it's 121, and by the looks of it, it seems like the sun is literally already like three quarters covered. It's getting darker, that's for sure. It's getting darker. Oh, this is gonna be trippy. <laughs> At two in the afternoon. <laughs> At two in the afternoon. What the heck? Busier than we've ever seen it. I know, it. it's, it's busier than we've ever weird. seen it. Pulling up, I was like, oh my god, look at all these cars, it's crazy. The cops are coming in patrolling to make sure everybody's staying safe. are going crazy. There's birds tripping over here. This is nuts. <laughs> Can you guys even see me? Oh my god. No way. No way. We caught one during the solar eclipse. He's literally, the sun's about to come back out, you guys. What is happening? On a buzz bait. I've never caught a fish on top water here. Let me get the good camera. I've never caught a fish on top water here. Oh my gosh. Let's go. The sun is still covered right now. No. People are already cheering in the background. What the heck? <laughs> oh dang. It looks covered. It's 141. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no is. way. There it is. What the heck? Look, here it comes. Dude, insane. Here it comes. The solar eclipse. The sun's coming back out right now. We just caught top water fish out here. We have so many cameras rolling, you've never seen anything like this. Planes flying overhead, the frogs were going crazy. I think we have one more chance to catch another top water bass. Insane! Let's go, solar eclipse 2024. Hey! Look at the birds, the birds came back Whoa. out. Whoa! What? Crazy. I can't believe you literally caught a fish during the solar eclipse. That's. <laughs> Oh my god! That's a reel on its own. That's insane! That was like all I could have hoped for. <laughs>
Well, that was absolutely insane. So like I said, y'all, this is the buzz bait. It put in magic uh, during the magic hour, some might call it, if it was like a sunset, <laughs> but it wasn't. That was the first fish I've ever caught on the Guggen Squad reel, by the way, too. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna see if like they'll still go for this because I'm pretty sure that was just only because it turned nighttime for four minutes and not because of anything else. So I doubt I get any more hits on this buzz bait. But now I put the GoPro on the chest to give y'all more of the, the fisherman's perspective, like if you guys were actually throwing this thing. So check it out. You just keep it right on top of the surface and that fish just blew up right on top of the freaking bait. That was so cool. Look, there's another, there's a splash over there by the reeds. Watch this. Come here, come here, come here. There's a splash over there. He didn't bite it. So the, they seem to be right there by the cover, right there by the reeds. Eat it. Ah, that was a unique experience right there. Probably won't ever happen again in my lifetime. I might try and tie on something else and see if we can catch a few more for you guys. But what a crazy event out here. Literally had all the cameras rolling. We had the drone in the air. We had the phone going. We had the 360 cam. We had the big cam. GoPro was right here on the console mount. Uh, lights are still turned on. It still seems a little hazy and dark out right now. And you know, it, it is cloudy, so I do feel bad for a lot of the people that traveled to come and see this, and maybe they didn't get the best view. But um, this was an experience of a lifetime. Wife and I out here on the boat, catching fish during the eclipse 2024. Absolutely crazy. Let's try and get a big one in the boat. Otherwise, it's been uh, a fantastic it's day. It's been super successful. It's been very <laughs> successful. I think I'm just still in awe because I don't know, that was just a crazy experience for those like four minutes because I was like, all right, it's probably not gonna get like pitch black. Like it, basically the sun's fully covered and then like all of a sudden it just went pitch black. The birds stopped chirping, the frog started up. That was crazy. And it stayed like that for a good, so like literally the four minutes. And to catch a fish on a buzz bait top water, like these animals probably just all got twisted around. So crazy. Oh no. That's not good for a buzz bait. <laughs> it's sinking. Like, look at it. Dang. Okay, let me see. Like, it's still like... Oh, it's like almost all covered still. What the heck? The sun just looks like a crescent moon. Uh-huh. Oh, God. And your balance is way off with these. <laughs> you cannot see through these. All right, let's turn these lights off and put them away so we don't accidentally cast and hit them. Let's take a moment. Mm-hmm. Oh, got one. Got one? Nice. The skirt, skirt, skirt. <laughs> okay. Skirt, 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 skirt. Another almost jerkbait imitation. She's throwing the fluke. Got him right on the grass edge. Again, they're just hanging out in this thick grass. I got the polarized lens on. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that, but there's grass everywhere. Go ahead. Solar eclipse bass. That bass is famous now. <laughs> there's a little fish. Little fish looking at it. Oh, I have one. Oh yeah. gosh. She's got another. Oh my goodness. They like it sitting. They oh, do. Go in the grass. Oh, nice. <laughs> the biggest so far of the day. Dude. <laughs> All right. I don't even know. What is this like? Number five, six, half a dozen Maybe. on eclipse day. What is eclipse happening? Day. There he goes. So the rig that Devin's throwing is actually better than what I've been throwing and I'm about to tell you why even though I've been catching fish on mine She's just got two back to back. I'm kind of putting it back up on the hook here So she's throwing the Guggen squad dart, but you can just you know, it's a fluke fluke style bait, right? It's just on a hook by itself. So it's not gonna sink into this grass. You see how thick this grass is right here, right? I mean, it's like it's all over. Hopefully hopefully that does something for you But there's grass all around the boat is all I'm getting at and what I'm throwing is this little jerk bait so he kind of has the same action, but he's a hard plastic jerk bait instead of a soft plastic jerk bait. And this thing has treble hooks on it. So you can see I'm catching all this grass on it. Like I'm just peeling off grass after every cast. I just have such good faith it's gonna catch the fish. And this one doesn't dive down too deep. So I'm just kind of fishing the areas I don't see grass on the surface and just letting it sit. But this one ideally is the better bait. So I would go something like a fluke in this scenario. This one's also more fun to fish many times because this one, you really get to set the hook on. It's a bigger hook and you need to make sure it catches them. So you got to set the hook, boom, really hard. Whereas, well, I say really hard. Half the time they eat it pretty good and you don't got to go crazy. But I'm throwing like lighter gear. This is a lighter reel. It's a shorter, lighter rod, more bend in it, and a lighter line, more finesse presentation, I guess you could say, with this guy right here. So slightly smaller in size, but that's the jerkbait versus fluke comparison. They've both been kicking butt today. 
and uh, there is your fish update. I couldn't resist, I had to tie on the fluke too. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's cool. Now I don't have to worry about the grass as much. That's funny. I cast it so far, they can't see the boat even though the water's crystal clear right on the grass edge. It was a couple pops and smack. This place is loaded on eclipse day. What is happening? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one. Fluke for the wind today. I'm telling you. Now it's nice and calm. You want something slow. They're not hitting it when you work it very fast. You gotta pop, pop, and then just let it sit. Patience. Yeah. Fish. No way. Yeah. <gasps> he snapped me off. No. You're on the BFS. Yeah, I know. Oh, it was maybe the drag or I was phone. listening. That was good? It. Okay. Fish, it was just sitting. I was trying to get birds nest out. Dang. Felt head shake, head shake, head shake. Whoa. Big, big, big. Holy smokes. Big fish. You're kidding. No, it was big. We're going to call it after that big fish miss, but we will be back to catch it, so be sure to subscribe. Uh, shout out to Amazon. We literally next day these eclipse glasses, and they do work. So it's tough to think that even an hour ago, we were in pitch black catching fish on a buzz bait during a solar eclipse in totality. Like, like we had a four-minute window, and we somehow made it happen. People travel from around the world to this area just to see this eclipse, and so we're so thankful we not only got to come out here, but y'all got to enjoy it with us. With that being said, hopefully the next video we upload uh, happens within the next year because it's been about that long since you had to wait for the last one. So we want to thank you guys for joining us and until the next time, peace.